What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Grand Columbia. And in this episode we are smashing a Austrian force that's decided to run all the way into the south of France. So without further ado, let's take them out. They are heavily, heavily depleted. So I do not foresee many issues there. Um, and there's a couple more forces that need to uh, make sure we clear out. But the main thing is that we are still trying to manage the destruction of the British Empire. So we're ready to attack their holdings in India. So we can probably start doing that. Or start um, getting, heading that way um, with our army in North Africa. I think they still need to replenish a little bit. But we're close. We're close. Oh, the rain... Artillery, stay set up on the high ground, feel free to bombard as you see fit, because the rest of our line is going to advance. So I've gone into the habit of putting all my um, skirmishes on one blank it tends to make it a lot easier to manage and I end up not forgetting them quite so often. Awesome. Try to focus my artillery against their infantry, or against their um, cavalry rather. Get my skirmishes to move up quickly on the flank. Yeah, they're gonna charge. Drop into squares. Watch them retarget. Give my give my other uh, artillery pieces an order to make sure they're not going to engage this cavalry. To be fair, my cavalry can sweep in and deal with them. Give a unit of 10 Hussars. Keep my skirmishers pushing around the flank. The cavalry can deal with their artillery. Managed to break our square formation. Some friendly fire quick climb. 15th regiment are holding on. 7th light horse have been broken. The 11th regiment of horse is still pushing. Pick a few of their infantry units and start engaging with my howitzers. Okay, push up. Their cavalry is going to go down. Get these units out of square. Get them formed up and engaging the enemy line infantry. Fusiliers are still ready to rock and roll. Enemy is being has been scattered on mass. So these are enemy dragoons. Well, there are enemy dragoons somewhere back here. Keep pushing around. Okay, there are the dragoons. Lots of routing units. Okay, the 45th have been broken. Focus my skirmish, focus my cavalry against the general's bodyguard. Get my light infantry out of light infantry behavior and start forming up against the enemy infantry that are right here. 
They're wavering, even though they've only lost one person. Okay, light infantry, some of them are coming back from routing, so let's send a detachment to head those off. Reorientate some troops to capture them in a pocket. Push some men out to advance up the line in general. Okay, let's get my cavalry to try and push around the edge. Oh, they're Light Dragoon troops. Oh no, no, they mounted back up again. Interesting. My, Dragoon, my skirmishes may come back. I guess um, how it's fire onto this infantry in the town. My guerrillas are wavering, even though there's no one actually near them. Engage. See, cavalry are nearby, and that's enough to make them upset. Okay, don't have to worry about these guys. Run my cavalry onto the back towards the Jaeger. Put artillery just, just smash into this unit. They're currently sat there doing nothing. Line my skirmishes up. Curacier, tag the general's bodyguard. You guys within range? You are within range of that infantry unit. Well, that artillery unit, rather, but you're not going for it. Instead, the 13th Light Hussars are going to charge the Jaeger. They're going the correct distance for the stakes. Because it's raining, we're getting some funky sound effects. So we killed their general. It's a good win for us. The gunners are routing. There we go. They've been obliterated and now they're being engaged as they flee. Good decision to run this way. I think. Yep. Good victory for us. So let's see where they route. We have troops in near well, in Turin ready. They can jump on them. And we can get in route far enough away. Kill them. Excellent. Let's reinforce and get back north again. Sloop, you get into Marseille. Can't repair it yet. So you're currently not replenishing. You're going to start the ticker. We're not going to attack it. We're going to hold on to it. Because I want to do a bit of clearing up here as well. And we are still recruiting additional troops. And yeah, we're not in a, not in a huge rush. Okay. I think it's time to end turn. <laughs> the ship that fled all the way to the north. Lots of good, honest recruitment. Excellent. <laughs> That's a lot of recruitment. Nice. Right. Yeah, so Mexico is now... I mean, I imagine all of those armies are quite badly depleted. If I had to guess. Reasonably depleted, but not ever so. Pull back. The bulk of our strength is in Mexico City. We can take Mexico City, they will have zero income to finance their war effort. Rey 
It's only a matter of time before the Navy starts coming after ours. But the hope was that we could get them to commit. If we can get them to commit, we can destroy them. Let's see if my sixth rate can kill any of them. They lost one, but they captured our sixth, so the net, they're the same. So these fleets are combining. Combining, but sat in the corner. Ripe for destruction. Excellent. That's right, Ottoman Empire. Back you go. Yeah, the Russian fleet is... Are they going to attempt... Well, are they, they going to try break out? No, they're going to raid. The pirating dogs they are. Excellent. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Right. Let's get set up. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a lot of... Yeah, got raiders. Somewhat um, inevitable. So we have a garrison here at Turin. They, but they really cannot handle us leaving, so it's gonna, that's going to take some time. Recruit a bunch of infantry, but let's... Oh no, we can't actually recruit dragoons. Disregard. We've got classical economics, which is super. Okay, right. Can you guys please leave? Minus 10. No, no, industrialization. It's not that much. They just really don't like being conquered. Fair enough. Okay, let's keep the economy upgrades going. There we go. Excellent. We're recruiting a huge amount of um, troops at the minute, so it makes a lot of sense to keep our keep our uh, economy growing as well. Okay, so you have belonged to that force. Okay, get up here. You're nearly at full strength. Not quite sure what you've recruited from where or if you've even got anything. Senor. Okay, you're ready. You need cavalry, infantry, and skirmishers. Get a Lancer Guard, let's get a Light Cavalry Sharpshooter, and let's get a unit of Cuirassier. Four. Two units of Skirmishers would be super. We can't get them yet. Let's maybe switch New Haven towards platoon firing, and then on to machine rifling to get Cazadors and Sharpshooters. And then let's get... You've already got... No, you don't, actually. Let's get some mercenaries plus regular old line infantry. There we go. Excellent. There we go. Let's start to actually recruit an army in. Another army in Paris. Cancel this. Something like that. You, you, and then you. Something like that. Senor. And then you're ready to be replenished and then advanced Adelante. east. 
These need to be dealt with. That's what you will try and do. Chase them down. They'll probably do a lot of raiding on their way around. And it will be mighty frustrating. But it will end. It will not go on forever. So you, good sir. That's not a super good fleet. So let's get some carronade frigates back into their ports. Especially if they've moved some of their fleets out, we can... Oh, I'm surprised they didn't try and sink me. Nigdurata. Can you bottle them up? Send you over here to go destroy this Maratha fleet. I think it might be their last actual fleet that can withstand us. Let's go get them. This is all instrumental in our gaining dominance over the entire Maratha coast. Every port needs to be... We need to have either raided it or be blockading it. We cannot allow them to produce anything. No ships nothing all of the the seas of the world will belong to us good okay something like this so the heavier ships Third, fourth, first. Okay, yeah, actually, their, their ships are actually in a pretty good position for us. Excellent. Radio. So, because of the heavier fleet, the heavier ships are actually going to be in our in quite a good position for us to engage. We're going to attempt to try and cross their T. If some of their um, if their thirds get across the line, that's fine as long as we get in front of that first rate ship of the line. So we'll definitely get there first. Their third is going to rake our ships. We're going to get some fire against their fourth rate ship of the line. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just going to play this on um, time compression until things get a little bit more interesting. So until the bulk of their fleet arrives. It looks like we may end up having to heave to to let the fourth rate pass. You're going to fire chain. Yeah, so we're going to... Oh, I want to see this chain shot broadside. Come on, Samuel Defonso. Our uh, poor broadside can fire into Via, and he misses hit Talwar to the rear. It's pretty excellent. So engaging Hooks are uh, heavy first rate. Keep firing change. You can put some shots at the Polkata. Like you might actually just miss out. The ultimate, you can do this. Nilagiri, you're probably going to want to fire chain. That's going to work out quite well. Actually, no. Keep doing what you're doing.
put some good shots at the veer. Put a couple of rounds into the captain's mast. Got the four mast down. Excellent. Realistically, now's the time to start breaking up the formation. You need to get around to the back against them. You just need to pivot. This is going to be the stuck. This is going to be the column we use to start chopping up the head of their fleet. Get right up behind them. Don't give them a space to scoot through. There we go, four master beers gone. Main mast is gone. There you go. She has no masts. Pummel her. Then these ships through the gap. They can continue to advance. The head of this ship column here is enough. You just keep pounding via. You engage Talwa. These guys aren't currently being engaged, but that will soon change. Just drop anchor, keep engaging. He is going down. Shots into Kolkata. Wait, is there two Kolkatas? No, Talwa. Okay, keep on failing. more shots to tell uh... Drop anchor. Shot the top of the main away. There goes Via. sail on ahead so that you can sail around at the back of that. You need to get up in behind in behind the Nigiri. Cat has surrendered. Keep knocking sails out. The smaller ships really hate it when they don't have any whole ship. Ship captains hate this one trick.
There we go, look, Sigthrae surrendered immediately after it lost the mainmast. Need to buy a round shot so you can engage engage Kachao. Surrendered, surrendered. You need to start pivoting around. Try and cut off that ship. You can slowly make your way around the formation. You guys all need to start sailing full sail. Make progress. You man, try and board the ship. 228 versus 246. Their crew has a good shot. Actually, try to cut across their stern. Lots of these ships can now try and get ahead of her. Firing round shot. Hold on, Sam, come in. Fire as she bears. Bring her down. Excellent. Overwhelming firepower wins the day again. That wasn't a close victory. We're not even going to bring these... Sh Actually, are we going to bring them into my service? Ah, eh, why the hell not? Oficial encubierta. Sí, So let's get my main fleet into port for repairs. Crashed into the back of the fleet. So let's start building the sixth, sixth again. Because when we land, we're going to need to try and... Well, we're going to need to cut off their, their access to trade as much as we possibly can. 56,000. Excellent. Okay, I might send... Okay, I might send you to India as well. You're definitely holding the fort. So let's get... First of all, let's get some a single first rate, then we'll start beefing it up. So you're recruiting another army. You're, you're recruiting your army. Paris is recruiting. Madrid is no longer recruiting. Get some really beefy artillery in. Got some spare cavalry loitering around doing nothing. So then up in the Americas. Yeah, Mexico City is Yeah, it's under the cosh. You're gonna hold them. Yeah, let's go for go for Mexico. So if we take out their capital. The rest of their army will rapidly de degrade as they run out of money. And that's when we just slowly squeeze them and squeeze them and squeeze them till they can go, they can squeeze no more. Then that's when we finally dominate the entire continent. We end up having an army to the north, an army to the south, some ships to provide some self-protection, 
other than that, we can kind of forget about the theatre. It's as developed as it needs to be. Making enough money. It's entirely secure. Right. What's artillery set up? Oh, it says position. Let's go for a more conventional frontal attack. Aim for the mortars first. As tempting as that giant package is in the center, let's aim for these guys. Excellent. Our use of chemical warfare is unmatched. Two guys left. So... Apart from that, I don't think we can really... We can't get this team. I don't think. So we're now under attack. From their artillery on the walls, but we can afford to take take the losses. My mortar's firing soon. Here they come. I can't remember if you're aiming off aiming at this regiment or the one to the rear. Excellent. We wiped out that artillery unit. Okay, realistically, I don't think we can go for the that rearmost unit. So let's focus on actually. You men focus on this section of the wall. Let's see if we can do some trapping. So foot artillery is undoubtedly. Kirana, you guys aim go for the broken bit. You guys go for the fixed bit. Let's see if we can get away with trapping people. The mortars attack this section of the wall. With all these Mexican troops up here. Aim at this section. If we can knock it down. If we can knock it down, we can trap. We might be able to trap a huge amount of them on the... Uh... No, you've aimed at the centre. So for reasons unknown, they have decided, actually, we're going to aim at what we want. So they aimed at their artillery in the centre. Interesting. The AI in this game has definitely gone downhill since it was released. See now, they're going after the wall. Excellent, we killed some men. Now these guys have stopped firing. See this See, this never used to be a thing. Apparently time compression... Time compression really impacts just artillery firing efficacy.
But it's looking like if we get one more volley from either of our artillery pieces. They're all now stuck. So direct my artillery. Keep attacking them. My line infantry on the other hand. Advance. They're engaging whoever they like, which is fair enough. What are you guys going to shoot at? Killed their general with an errant... What? With an errant... Uh, how it's shot. There we go, they're aiming at the men at the top of the, top of the gate. I may as well make my howitzers aim at the field artillery howitzer regiment. Got a couple of these units scale the wall. Don't mind if we fire up onto the walls. We haven't got a massive demand to maintain our musket, our um, our ammunition stockpiles. Push out. Yes, the fools. The absolute mad lads. They're so desperate to stop our charge. Coming. Artillery is wavering. Keep killing them as they route through, just to make sure they do shatter. Let's get my general up here as well. They've made a little, a little hole. Our infantry unit broke. Fair enough, really. It's kind of what the AI, kind of what happens in these sorts of circumstances. They broke as well. Interesting. I suspect they'll come back. Our citizenry are attacking. Okay, you. Okay, they broke. Again, keep attacking them. Keep killing them. So that they shatter. There we go. Get in here, Marines. See, they came back.
Okay, you men, you charge down to clear your militia. The gatehouse was already secure, but now it's properly secure. It's the yellow and the yellow. Who's winning? Our guys or their guys? You men engage the infantry. Lloyd Colonial Line run over towards the center. Garcia whip around and attack their howitzers. My marines just set up and begin engaging their line infantry. See, they came back as well. Excellent. Kill the last of the mortar crewmen. May require these guys to do it. No, engage those guys in front of you. Don't shoot up here. They're all useless. Set you guys up to engage the breach as well. Yes, yeah. Just set up more infantry pouring up on top of the wall. They're down to about 80 infantry. We've got plenty. Form up on the gatehouse. Got the militia, the Mexican militia trapped in the corner. Okay, you can reload. Marines are doing fantastic work. Every out here is inexplicably still alive. But no, now they're broken. Engage. Third rank. Nice. All of you guys can't even help. Fools. City is ours, though. Nice. So, Mexico City being a mining hub, we've got plenty and plenty and plenty of investing we can do here. Unless the AI has actually maxed it out, which I don't think they would have done. This university here most likely to get rid of. Actually, no, there isn't. Interesting. But yeah, a lot of these mines are not fully developed. So, Mexico City is a hugely valuable region. Okay, I might use a militia unit to push you guys out into my fleet. Don't, don't need their fleet. Aaron Ayala put into Yorktown. I suspect that fleet was going to um, go to them anyway. This fleet. Señor. Go on then. Auto resolve boogaloo. Vencido. We lost a ship, but we're going to claim their galleon. A donde, Capitan? Flota lista. So I expect you. Preparados. Yes. There we go. Full strength. Vámonos. Put into York down for repairs. Listos. Listos. Trade fleet put in for the port of pay. done all this stuff it's all just popped up as new yeah you you are recovering 
You're in trouble now. You should start to, you should be starting to get bankruptcy signs popping up. Your entire empire is being run on 893 gold plus extras. Okay, let's repair you. Upgrade the roads. And then at Villa Hermosa, let's build a coaching inn just to make it chill out. You can advance south. This fleet, except the, this army, except the militia, can come down with you. Excellent. So they're in a really dodgy spot. You're in a much better position to accept battle from the enemy than this army is. Excellent. Workers have rioted in Savoy. Not anymore, they haven't. Okay. I think we're going to hit enter and see what happens. I might actually make sure I'm completing my required raiding responsibilities. Well, there's only two ports up here to worry about, which is excellent. Nice. Okay. Let's hit enter and see how the enemy responds. Lots of reinforcements are on the way, but we're not particularly worried about needing to get them up at the moment. They can afford to take a bit of time. Yeah, you're panicking now. Hmm, the Royal Navy have taken up space. Don't have to worry about that for much longer. Yeah, we need more armies in France just to plug the gaps. Plug the gaps, maintain pressure on the enemy, so we can advance out of the region. And put them under Red. squeeze. Although we've got plenty of cash as it is. Oh no! Go get him, Carronade Frigate! Uh, he got taken into the fleet. But that's part of the objective. Find where the... <laughs> as these enemy fleets put to sea sail in and take them out because there'll be eventually there'll be a limit to how many they can actually build so we've got Norwegian fleets on the go Get cracking. Cherokee. Oh, you're just not super useful. Let's get you up here in case you recruit another army from Boston. Britain and Mexico have broken their alliance as of Austria and Mexico. Excellent. You're not within range. You're making approaches towards Paris itself. And I welcome that. Please attack the bridge so I can so I can defend it, please. Okay, you've got a lot of infantry. Okay, you need any fusiliers. I need something like that. Just some cool, interesting infantry. Five units being recruited. They'll be done soon. Great. Okay, you put in for repairs. And you guys... Get over here. 
So you're available for deployment. I don't know if you need any more third rates. You're getting a lot of firsts and seconds now anyway. That's fine. This you go back to the Americas for repairs. There we go. I know there's a Royal Navy fleet here, but we don't really care about that. They put to sea. We're going to want to gobble them up just to get their first rate and sink the rest of their fleet. Otherwise, we don't really care. Although, to be honest, if you're going to be raiding, I don't necessarily have to repair you the cheap ones either. Well, I don't necessarily need to raid the British harbours, because we're going to need them. Okay, let's assume... Okay, so Zahedan, or yeah, Zahedan doesn't get a port at all. Okay, so once we destroy that fleet... That's it. They got no more. They are done. Let's go get them. Because then once we've blockaded the coast of India, we don't have to worry about any attacks from them at all. And then when we jump in against them and take the British territories, we've suddenly got lots and lots of options to amphibiously invade if we want to. Sorry, I had a bit of a cough. Okay, you, 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 you. Second, 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 second. Okay, there we go. Just let them come at us. Um, I'm not going to wait. make you guys wait to watch this though, so I'll chop it here and bring you guys back when battle is joined. So see you in a second, everyone. And we're off. And <laughs> it's gone. It's just become a real mess. But I think that is really, that's actually pretty fine. As far as we're concerned. I gave a bit of a funky order and everyone suddenly started scattering out of position. <laughs> Something like that's what I really need them to get to. You guys need to say or something like this. These ships are just trying to sail into a some kind of position to be able to engage the enemy at all. Come on. You guys have at it. The main thing is, I'm going to cut off your first rate ship of the line. It's going to take us a while, but we'll do it. Pumping some shots into Bangaram. To the Thunderer that's getting the first hits against Kodikozi. There we 
Then as such, you're going to switch to chain, start to knock out her masts. Probably just gonna sit where you are and just keep pumping shots into their fleet. Your position's probably as good as it needs to be. Thunder is fine. Pop off another round shot broadside. The rest of these guys are all sending against the wind, so they're going to be in a world of hurt. I can afford the losses. The Marathas cannot. Snip the top off the mizzen. Turn around, yes, Gallywag. What's over these ships? Oh, there we go. Got the main mast down. If you guys turn to be more like this. Side ready. Reload. Maybe keep firing chain actually. Or oh, their main mast. Let's get the rest of them. Just pumping shots into a stern at long range. Shots into Bangaram. You got any shots? You have got shots. Great, great, great. Pivot, put some chain shots into that. Oh, you look at fifth rate. She is wavering. Routing. Cody Cozy is on fire. You're going to try and cut across behind Bangaram. Be 
get your broadside right squared away. Let's hit this fifth rate. <laughs> yeah, didn't like that, did you? She's routing. start okay you're okay, you're on fire second's gone the fifth's gone bangaram's gone excellent fire will um, turn off so they try put the fire out it's quite a big fire Try blast the sails off of Brahmaputra. Now the sixth rate's on the loose. Side. Still nothing. Okay, all well, these ships gonna start engaging. Shot the mast out of Kimura. Joseph, no, nope, too far for round shot. No, oh, she's routing. You guys all go after. Actually, you give the, get the order to sail straight like this. Damn right, we're going to continue. I'm not going to let you get away with this. she's trying to go is problematic for her. Some of my other ships, however, it's not quite as problematic. Keep firing round shots. Looks like we are going to successfully be able to cut her off. There we go. Whew. Potentially could have got a bit problematic towards the end. We're not going to take any of them on our strength. Excellent. No ports available for raiding. But we have raided the main shipyard of the Maratha Confederacy here at Madras. So no ships for you, good sir. Still getting some income. But the, en the enemy has no strength at sea. So let's send my two... Although I'm reluctant to send you guys out. Let's break up this fleet. There we go. There is no trade coming into the subcontinent. Let's send these ships back to the Americas for repair. Okay, you... Gonna be very boring armies, just full of infantry. That's what we need. Okay, ships, 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 ships. Okay. Preparado. Or 
awesome. Uh, right. So in terms of fighting, I mean, what I probably want to do is pull the old switcheroo with these guys. I want them to advance and be intercepted by this force when we fight a bridge battle. But if that doesn't happen, I want this army in Paris. And uh, Sebastian Serrano, still doing lots of recruitment. Got another army pushing up from Spain. Excellent. Upgrade the infrastructure. Everything's still good. Still sieging at Tripoli. Excellent. Okay, let's add some ships to this fleet because it looks like they could do with some well, they, they could do with some extra ones. You guys scoot over to Safaki. Building. Great. It's so over in the Americas itself. We're going to advance undercover. We're going to try and assassinate their commander, Hernan Campos. We missed him. Oh, yeah, we dealt with the rake. Okay, this army in the south is going to engage Blas de Aguerto. However, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for some uh, Latin American action. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>